for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese as always. Mad 23 is right around the corner. It's releasing in less than six weeks. I know a lot of people that are in franchises might already be picking their franchises for Madden 23. So with that in mind, I decided to make a list of the top 10 teams to use in Madden 23. Whether you're picking teams for CFM or whether you're just playing regs online head-to-head, -head, these are going to be the 10 best teams that will give you the biggest advantage when it comes to winning. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go, let's go right into the video. Before I start this list, I just want to explain my personal criteria for making this list when it comes to Madden the most important thing is skill position players position players like wide receivers cornerbacks safeties running backs receivers things like offensive line defensive line don't typically make a ton of difference if you know how to play this game so you won't be seeing teams like the Packers even though they have the best quarterback in the league now that they let go of Devontae Adams they really don't have any receivers worth mentioning which makes them a much harder team to make an offense with same thing can be said for a team like the Ravens which is a pretty stacked team they got one of the best and funnest quarterbacks to play with but when you go to the receiving core once again they have nothing there the same thing can be said for teams that have a lot of weapons but don't really have great quarterbacks teams like the saints or teams like the eagles who only have jalen hurts they may have a lot of weapons around them but ultimately if the quarterback's not good enough to make plays it's going to shut down the entire offense now starting off at number 10 we have a team that's a perfect dichotomy when it comes to that we have a quarterback situation with tua doesn't have much of a throw power when it comes to an arm which is definitely going to hurt this team overall but when you have team speed at the weapons like raheem Mostert, who is probably the fastest running back in the game at a 96 speed. Then you go to the receiving core, and this is why this team's going to make this list no matter who the quarterback is. Tyree Kill at 99 speed. They also have Jalen Waddle, who's a 97 speed. This receiver tandem, as well as the running back situation with Raheem Mostert, gives this team the most team speed probably in the entire game. Mike Isecki at tight ends, also very good. They did bring in Teron Armstead. But ultimately, on the defensive side, once again, it's all about cornerbacks and safeties, and they have that with Xavier Howard, who's one of the best cornerbacks in the game and byron jones is one of the most athletic cornerbacks in the game given one of the best cornerback tandems as well and they have some pretty good safeties when it comes to javon holland and eric rowe next up we got the raiders now i think Derek carr is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the league and in the game he just never really had great weapons he's starting to get great weapons around him now they have a really good running game they always have with josh Jacobs, a really good pounding inside the the numbers type of back then you get to the receiving core and they upgraded massively by bringing in Devontae adams maybe the best receiver in the game 99 overall i'm sure he'll be a 99 overall when man 23 comes out hunter renfro is also a very good route runner he's a very good slot guy they're still one short of a of what you typically want which is three good receivers but when you add in darren waller he could essentially be your third receiver when he's not playing tight end darren waller is one of the biggest cheat codes in the game when it comes to tight ends because of his speed being so fast you get to the defensive side they have max crosby at an outside linebacker i'd probably switch right back to a 4-3 and put him at a defensive end uh, they also brought over chandler jones even if you don't have great blitzes you should have plenty of pass rush to get to the quarterback based over those two guys alone Next up, we got the Chargers. The Chargers have a ton of weapons as well. They went out and brought in some big-time players on defense. Ultimately, though, when you have a guy like Justin Herbert, one of the best quarterbacks in the game, you have Austin Keller, who's one of the best receiving backs in the game. You have some of the better receivers in the game when it comes to Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, uh, even Jalen Guyton's the fastest guy, so he's a good third option. When you get to the defensive side, once again, they have one of the best pass rushing tandems in the game with Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack, who they added from the Bears. Uh, get to the second and it gets even better once again secondary is probably the most important to me guys like jc jackson of the adam from the patriots bryce callahan's already here sante samuels a young player they're all very talented so you have a great three cornerback set which you typically need then we get to the safeties but it's all about derwin james derwin james is one of the best safeties in the game next up we have the Bengals. now joe burrow will probably have an x factor or something this year i would imagine after the year he had last year ultimately he's a solid quarterback regardless even if he doesn't you get to the backfield Joe Mixon's one of the best running backs in the game. Power back with plenty of speed. The receiving core is really what does this team in. Uh, when it comes to Jamar Chase, I'm sure he'll get a ratings boost. He's one of the faster receivers in the game at 94 speed. That's perfect. Tyler Boyd's got size. T. Higgins got size. You have a great three wide receiver set. And the defensive line is actually pretty solid too. Trey Henderson's one of the best uh, defensive rushers in the game and the secondary was really one of the reasons that they got so far last year guys like Chidobe and Wuzier and then you also have some really good safety with Jesse Bates and Von Bell next up we got the Cardinals last year one of my favorite teams was the Ravens mostly because of Hollywood Brown and the speed of quarterback I'm pretty sure I'm going to transfer this year to the Cardinals based on the fact that they have a similar set with Kyler Murray his speed and his talent 
and Hollywood Brown once again at the receiving spot, who they traded for on draft day. Between him and DeAndre Hopkins, he's got you know two of the better receivers in the game. Then you add guys like Rondo Moore's a 95 speed. You go to the tight end spot, they still have Zach Ertz, still one of the better receiving tight ends in the game. Uh, that's definitely something. They added Trey McBride, too. I think he's one of the top tight ends taken. J.J. Watt's still here, but they don't really have a, a rusher opposite him. The secondary is lacking a little bit. They only have Byron Murphy, and they don't have a lot of speed after that. But their safety spot's still pretty solid with Jalen Thompson and Buda Baker. Next up, we have the Denver Broncos. Now, once again, great quarterback. Russell Wilson traded for him, and it really changes their fortunes. Over the last couple years, I've been remarking how great their offensive weaponry was. They just needed a quarterback. They still have Melvin Gordon. Javante Williams is a really good up-and-coming running back. Then you have a really great receiving court between Corlin Sutton, Jerry Judy, who's on the rise, Guys like Tim Patrick is really solid, but ultimately I'd be starting KJ Hamler based off the fact that he's still young and he's a 94 speed player. The defense is really where it's at though. And they do have Bradley Chubb still is a really good outside linebacker, a good pass rusher. They added Randy Gregory, which will give you a solid tandem. Then you get to the secondary and they have a lot of talent there that you have to work up. Patrick Sertan is still gonna be one of the best cornerbacks in the game because of his 6'2 size, his 93 speed. Their safeties are really strong with Justin Simmons, who's one of the best free safeties in the game, and Kareem Jackson. Next up we got the Browns. I still don't know if Deshaun Watson is going to be in this game or what the deal is with him. But as long as he's in the game, this is going to be one of the best teams in the game. Deshaun Watson, the quarterback, is great. Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt at running back is maybe the best tandem in the entire game. You get to the receiving core, and it's a little bit lacking, but Amari Cooper is still a great number one. They have Jakeem Grant, who's once again a speedster, a playmaker. I would probably start Anthony Schwartz somewhere because he's a 96 speed, one of the fastest in the game. The offensive line is still one of the best in the game. I try not to bring that up because, like I said, I know it doesn't matter too much, but it can. Then you get to the second or the pass rush is going to be really solid with Jadavion Clowney and Miles Garrett. The secondary is really strong too. Denzel Ward's one of the best in the game. Uh, Greg Newsom's fast with size. Next up we have the Bills. Now the Bills are a team, if you watch my gameplays, if you watch a lot of my videos where I use gameplay highlights, I have the Bills use in a lot of them based on the fact they have one of the best quarterbacks in the game in Josh Allen. Receiving core though is really where it's at. They have a really strong receiving core and they added to it. Stephon Diggs one of the best receivers in the game. Gabriel Davis uh, had a coming out party last year in the playoffs. Jameson Crowder a really good addition. They do have one of the faster tight end duos in the game, though, with Dawson Knox and with O.J. Howard. Both of them 87 overall speed. They really don't have any holes on defense. They have a lot of young pass rushers. They added Vaughn Miller on top of it. The cornerbacking core, led by Jadavis White, is really strong. They also drafted Kyer Elam in the first round uh, to go with him and Taron Johnson. So you got three really good cornerbacks. Mika Hyde and Jordan Porter is one of the best safety teams in the league. They're both superstar players. Next up, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, this could depend on whether you're playing regs or CFM. If you're in CFM, I wouldn't necessarily say taking this team is a great idea based on the fact that Tom Brady's not going to be there much longer, but in regs, this is a solid option. They have a lot of weapons. Leonard Fournette is one of my favorite running backs in the game. Speed and power, really good player. Uh, you get to the receiving core. We all know they have one of the better receiving tandems in the game with uh, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. The offensive line is really strong once again, though. They have a couple of close to 90 overall players or more. On the defensive side, they brought over Akeem Hicks to add to a defensive front. It's already one of the best in the game with Vita Veo, uh, Shaquille Barrett, guys like the Devontae David, guys like Devin White. And then they're also pretty strong in the back seven, too, with young guys like Carlton Davis, Jamel Dean, and uh, Sean Murphy Bunny, giving you a perfect three cornerback tandem with speed and size. You also have a really strong uh, safety tandem with Anton Winfield Jr. and Logan Ryan. And then last but certainly not least, I went chalk. I chose the Rams. Now, the Rams are a team that they won the Super Bowl last year. They'll probably be in the running uh, a competitive team this year. Matt Stafford really completed the puzzle. They really upgraded what was already a strength on their team when it comes to a receiving core. Guys like Cooper Cup are just a cheat code, even though he's not necessarily a 99 speed. He's definitely a 99 overall type of player he's going to get open against just about anybody. Allen Robertson gives you a lot of size. Van Jefferson gives you, uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a good third receiver. On the defensive side, though, they do have Aaron Donald. That is important. That guy is just a game record play after play. Bobby Wagner who they brought over from the Seahawks. Then you get to the secondary, and once again, Jalen Ramsey, 99 overall player. He came and throw his way. Uh, he's a game wrecker as well. That's two game wreckers on defense. So that's it. That's the vid. Like I said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Mike Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.